case you think I've been slacking, <laughs> I have not been slacking off. I've just uh, been working on this, doing little cleanup things. I added uh, pockets and actually redid the uh, shafts a little bit, but it's the type of stuff that makes your eyeballs fall out with boredom, so I didn't bother videoing what I was doing. I'm going to put this aside. All right, I got a container. Get the sculpting stand just a little high to hold wax because I'm going to uh, use this light wax from the uh, Captain Lovewell piece to uh, work on my next project. Figure why not use wax that's already here? I've got a block of uh, wax at my back of my studio, but <clears throat> this is called recycling. And hopefully this will work. I haven't tried it before. And we'll see if it uh, does. Alright, that's the uh, part of the coat in the front uh, vest of the uh, sculpture that I did you know, a couple years ago. I've got this wax that I started, oh gosh, maybe four or five years ago. And uh, it's, what I'm thinking of doing is working in wax uh, for a couple of days. Um, I'm going to take this off of a, well, I don't know. I'll figure that out. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take him off of there. I'm going to cut uh, a wedge in the front because I don't know how I'm going to have this guy and I want to have some room for the uh, ability to make him bend if I want to. I'll use the same thing in the back. turn his upper thorax without uh, any trouble. There we go, see? Now I can put the body any way I want to and it'll work just fine. I'm going to do the same thing with his legs. One leg uh, didn't have the knee put in so I can bend the joint there but I need to cut this and then I need to cut at the legs so I can change the position of the legs if I want to without uh, any trouble as well. an interesting position right there. Feet are going to go. <clears throat> so one foot's going to go there.
there's my wire. I mean my hammer. And I'm gonna use this as an anvil. And I'm just going to take the uh, pinched end of the uh, copper tubing. by the uh, cutting of the tubing with a wire cutter and uh, good that works what I might do is <coughs> put that right here next to this leg I'm trying to get a strong enough wire to hold him up so he's not uh, flopping around. Okay, right next to the leg. turned off. Both cameras were off when I just looked at them. But anyway, I've got this all set up. Um, I put a thick, heavy-duty piece of copper tubing uh, to go alongside this leg, melted it into the wax so that it actually glues itself into the, the wax figure. And then I brought the uh, wire <coughs> up and around until it uh, is out of the way of everything else. I'm not sure this is going to work, but you got to try it. Um, so now it's uh, good and solid in its positioning, and once I establish the final positioning, it'll, it'll hold it better. Uh, once I get everything trimmed and ready for me to put clay on. I'm going to paint this a clay color so that uh, you can see what's going on. So that's at least the beginning. That might look better with him up a little bit. I got to figure out what I'm going to have his arms doing. I gotta be careful too because I don't want to uh, do too much to uh, bet in bending the, the, this copper tubing because it will break if you overdo it. And uh, so, and I need to bury that just a little bit deeper into the uh, wax. I kind of like that positioning right there. So anyway, that's uh, going to be it for tonight, and uh, all right, that'll be it for now. Till next time, have a great night.